What's good guys, it's Combat here at Infinite Rhythm Productions and today I'm going to teach you guys how to export your stems correctly in Ableton. Let's get it. So we have Ableton open over here. I'm going to play out this beat. This beat was produced by me and my dope ass producer, call me Johnny. Let's get it. All right, dope. So we just finished up the beat. We got everything like a cool little level or whatever, but we want to export into Pro Tools now so that way we could mix the beat a little bit better in there. This also applies to if you guys are producing in Ableton, want to export the stems, or if you guys are uh, recording vocals in here and want to export the stems so you guys can mix another software, send it out to any engineer or anything like that. So this is going to be the right way to export all your stems. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to File over here and we want to click Export Audio Slash Video. Faster way to do it, you guys can see the shortcut right here is just command shift r so i'm just going to hit command shift r over here awesome and you guys see we have selection it says rendered track we're just going to want to make sure all individual tracks is selected you guys could also do selected tracks only if you guys just select the tracks you guys want to be exported you guys could do that as well i like to do all individual and if i don't use like a group track or a reverb track i just delete that later in the mix it's not a problem now you guys will see the render start and the render length that could be determined here i'm gonna hit cancel right here that could be determined by this bar up here you guys are going to want it to start over here at one and you guys are going to want it to end wherever your last bar is if you guys have a little bit of a tail of your MIDI track or whatever, you guys might want to just bring it back out here. If you guys have like a reverb tail or something like that, we'll just leave it at 105 over here. I'm going to go back into that menu, Command Shift R. Awesome. So I have it open here. We have a couple other options as well. We have rendering options. I like to leave all of these off. We have like convert to mono, render as loop, include return and master effects, uh, normalize as well as create an analysis file. I just like to leave all those off. I like to be as natural and dynamic as possible, especially with the normalize. Uh, that actually like lightweight masters all the stems and I don't really want that. I don't want them to be louder. I want them uh, to still be dynamic. Sample rate, I'll leave at 4800. For the encode PCM, I leave it on. File type, it just depends what file type you want. I always recommend Wave. You guys can, if you guys do a master, let's say you guys have your master track right here, you guys can have a Wave and make sure it also exports as an MP3 if you guys are trying to send like a smaller file so you don't have to convert later. But I would recommend for this example, we would do all individual files we would just do the wave 24 bit depth and dither options we'll keep it a uh, triangular right here we could do no dither as well uh, i personally just do triangular the video options we're not really doing video it's just audio right now so that's it then we would hit export the next thing you would do is you would go to a place where you would want to export those tracks you would hit new folder and for this one i'm just going to title it beat one and then i'm going to put stems because it's going to be all the stems right here i hit enter now i just hit save all right so that pretty much concludes our tutorial of how to export your stems in ableton i hope this really helped you out and please like comment and subscribe as that helps me out so i could continue to drop these fire tutorials let's get it